Hey guys, I wanted to go through a quick tutorial of Google Sites. So the internet address is sites.google.com. You type that in and if you're logged into your Google, it pulls up a page that looks like this. So I used Google Sites probably uh, eight years ago, seven years ago maybe when I was a pageant director. Oh my goodness, that was a long time ago. But I used Google Sites then and it has greatly improved in the last 10 years. So <laughs> that's how long it's been since I used Google Sites. They've really updated things here and I like it a lot. So to get started on your Google Site, you click Create New Site. and that opens up your template for your website. Up here it says Untitled Site, so all you have to do there is change it to whatever you want to change it to. So I'm going to do Lot 26 Education and over here, there's a little tutorial because this is a new version of Sites. So you can go through the tutorial or you can skip it. I'm going to skip it because I've already done the tutorial. If you want to do it, go for it. I mean, it's this is so easy to build a website, guys. I mean, it's like literally click and drag stuff. So it tells you what to do here, too. Your page title. There you go. Your page title. My page title is Lot. 26 education I think I'm just gonna leave it at that my internet connection is wonky tonight I don't know why okay then we go you can change the layout if you want I just made a little um, like an intro page for myself on the front page so I added a photo here I'll probably so I just chose an image there it's an image that I actually made on Adobe Spark so just for my home page here You can do with that whatever you want. I'm just going to throw that in there. Okay, so now I have my home page. Over here, you can click on Pages to add pages. You can click on the three dots, add sub page. So my new sub page is going to be educational activities. You can do advanced features if you want. I'm not getting into all that because these days you don't need to know how to code everything. There are sites that use, why are we making two? Okay. You don't need to be able to uh, code HTML because there are sites that have templates like this one where you just drag and drop things. Back in my day, you had to know how to code to make a web page. All right, so here's how we're going to link um, our H5P files to our Google website. 
I've made a new page called Educational Activities, and under that, I'm going to make a new page for each educational activity on um, the H5P site that I make. So this is just how I'm going to keep track of things. You will add a subpage here, and my first one is going to be Sugar History. Um, what was that one? Oops. Sugar History. What's it called? Hotspot. Sugar History Hotspot. So there's what I'm going to add. Hot spot. Done. Okay, so I have a brand new page just for that content. I'll go back and add something to this page at some point. You can change everything around. You can use their own images. They have a whole gallery of images you can choose from. Um, if you want to get super crafty, you can download your own, but, you know, you can choose different colored ones, and you just change it like that. Alright, so, to add your H5P content, it is super easy. Go over here to Insert, and you're going to click on Embed. It pops up a little window, so I'm going to go here to my H5P site and I'm going to scroll down to the bottom of my content. At the bottom there you'll see some links there. You can see one that says reuse. We're going to use the one that says embed. So click on embed and then all you do here is either control C or right click copy and then over here not by URL but by embed code then you just control V or right click and paste paste and then click on next alright so it took a, a minute for it to load does it look like what you want it? then all you do is click on insert and it puts that into your page. I like things to be centered under the title so I'm going to pull and drag this over to where it's centered underneath the title here. Again you can change this background image. You can upload an image or you can select an image that they already have. I chose these, I think these themes here, so I'm just going to change, choose a different color one, keep it the same. Alright, after you do that, click publish. Is that what you want your website's web address to be? This is what it'll be, it gives you the actual link right there, so you can actually go ahead and copy that so once your website is published you can click here where it says publish the little down arrow beside it and you can click view published site I don't know if you can do that I guess you can't do that before you publish it <laughs> all right so once you click on view published site then your site will pop up as it is viewed by anyone who has the link or anyone who searches it so this is how it's viewed here are my hotspots for sugar changed the world <laughs>